guys, it's Mr. Foley Games here, and in today's video, I've got something absolutely brilliant to share with you regarding Liquid Divinium once again within Black Ops 3 Zombies. Now, a lot of you guys may have already seen my Liquid Divinium farming methods on the Ice and Dracker, and they're actually very effective, but now that we have unlimited Liquid Divinium each game, there's actually a much more efficient method you guys can use in order to get those Liquid Diviniums extremely quickly. So before I get into the depth of this actual video, if you do end up enjoying, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the latest and the greatest gaming content. So with that out of the way, I'll jump right into the technique. And now the main thing for this is you have to have the season pass and you have to have the giant. I'm going to state that now so nobody rages at the end saying that I haven't told you exactly what you need to do. So the first thing you have to do is have the giant. Now, the next step for this actually has to be followed extremely well, because if you do not do this correctly, you will not be able to do this farming method. Basically, as soon as you spawn in on the giant, you'll have the option of turning left and you'll have one door there, or the option of turning right and you'll have a door there. Once you've gathered a few points on round one, you have to open the door to your left, so you're going to Ord Juggernaut. You cannot open the door that takes you towards the VMP, which is on the wall where the Thompson used to be within Call of Duty World at War. So you have to go left from where you spawn in. Once there, proceed to open the next few doors that lead you to where the power power room is and where the trip mines are. Obviously, only open three doors to get to this point. No door, other doors need to be opened in order to do this technique. All you have to do is open the first door, which is 750, the second door, which is 750, and the next door, which is 1000, which is leading up to the stairs, past the trip mines and down to the power. Once you've made your way to the power without opening any other doors other than the three that I have stated, you need to turn on the power, then go up to where I am showing on screen. I would highly recommend that you buy at least one gun for the lower rounds, but as you get into the higher rounds, you are going to need bigger guns that are better. Unfortunately, on my game, I actually got the box, which was behind a door I could not go through because I was not allowed to open it in order to make this technique work. But for you guys, the box shouldn't be in that location a lot of the time, so go ahead and get a weapon from the box if you really want to. Now, the key part of this method is not to open two doors within this room. Basically, you're going to be staring at this window and all the zombies are going to spawn right in front of you. There's no chance they're going to spawn behind you because all the doors are going to be closed around you. One of the doors to your right, which will be the teleporter, you cannot open that door whatsoever. Do not open it, no chance, or the technique will not work. And as soon as you turn around as well, there's the stairs and you do not want to open them either because that will screw up the technique entirely. So, as long as you keep those two doors closed and within that room that you will be camping in, no zombies can spawn anywhere else, else on the map other than where you are looking. It's obviously that one window that you have to defend by yourself, so by having some decent guns you've got a much better chance of getting those high rounds. Now, the zombies are only going to spawn directly in front of you, and by doing this, the rounds will go extremely quickly, and you will earn a hell of a lot of points if you've got a good point hauling gun. As long as you're earning those points a lot and efficiently, you'll be able to open a hell of a lot of doors once you've done. Obviously, you can't open the doors that I've stated, but there are other doors in the map that you can open, and you can buy perks and stuff like that. Now, the best way I can recommend to you guys to earn in Liquid Divinium while doing this technique is actually by getting to around about round 10 and you should have about 15 to 20,000 points. If you have less or if you have more, that's no problem. If you've got under 10k, I wouldn't recommend moving until you've got over 10k, but then what you want to do is proceed to move outside of that room as long as you've got one zombie at the end of the round and buy as much stuff as you can. Do not open the doors I've told you not to open, but you can open the other teleporter doors. That will not affect the technique at all. You just want to buy as many guns as you can, as many perks and just spend as much points as humanly possible. Doing this the first time will of course earn you that liquid divinium but you can continually do this over the rounds so you're going to earn more and more points as the rounds get higher and higher so obviously the liquid divinium for example is just going to come in more and more due to the fact that you're spending even more points as our higher rounds come into play. Obviously the best way I can recommend within high rounds, because you've run out of points to spend on doors and stuff like that, the best thing you can do is buy gobble gums. They're extremely efficient because you spend a hell of a lot of points very quickly on something small. Obviously buying ammo works as well, but this is another effective way. Buying ammo, whatever, that's fine, but buying gobble gums is much more effective. So anyway guys, that's actually going to conclude today's video regarding liquid divinium farming and this is legitimately the best method you are going to find at the moment. There is nothing better than this. It is the most time and cost effective way at getting your liquid divinium fast. But if you did enjoy, go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. If you did also enjoy, go ahead and comment down below what you thought and tell me how your technique's working for you. So anyway guys, thank you for watching and peace out.